Okay guys, Paul here with Patek. I'm gonna attempt my first ever hotel review uh, on my channel because I've been to the Viva Wyndham in Semina, Dominican Republic twice now. This is my second time coming down here. It's quite a nice hotel, really clean, very enjoyable. So I'm gonna try and give you uh, as much info as I can about the hotel. So you guys wanna come down, you know it's a safe place, it's clean. Um, and I'll talk about as many things as I can so first off, I'm just going to turn the camera around here. I'm staring right at the entrance there. The hotel has a total of about 286 rooms and some of them are bungalows. I'm guessing maybe uh, 20 or 30. And they're just over here. Hola. And a very amazing Hola. entertainment crew. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Fantastic entertainment, yeah. guys. I love these guys. Hola. Tonight we have a show. ¿Cómo que el show? Ah, internacional show a las 10 de la noche, 10 p.m. Awesome. My name is Sandra. <laughs> so as you can see, they're fantastic entertainers. You like Dominican music and dancing? They're they're absolutely amazing. <laughs> So anyways, straight now, straight across that white building at the end, that's the spa. You're looking at 50 bucks US for a 30 minute deep tissue massage, plus a number of other services they offer. Um, and then there's the bungalows uh, across the way. I'm not gonna go in there because they're private and you know they don't want you wandering around through there, but uh, you have that option. So you can, you can choose to stay in one of the basic hotel rooms, like what you see behind me, which is what I stay in uh, twice now or you have the option of the bungalow. Okay, so now we're gonna head over the front door. We'll go through the lobby. We'll show you what that's all about. So you're looking at about a 20 minute ride to get here on the bus from the airport. And this is the main lobby. All right, nice and clean. On the right here, of interest, you've got a small variety store and there's a cigar humidor there. I'll talk more about the cigar humidor a little later. The prices in that store are brutal compared to downtown Las Terrenas, so um, bring as much stuff as you can with you. So on the left side here, that's the main cafeteria that we just came out of. <laughs> yeah, everybody loves being on camera down here. This is a espresso bar disco and this is where you'll get your cappuccinos in the morning or you can get them at the bar on the other side at the uh, lunch buffet and so now we're looking straight down towards the pool and these vendors they show up here every couple of days uh, selling trinkets and stuff and t-shirts quite expensive um, so just a note about buying like souvenirs our luggage and got lost on the way down here for a couple of days. So we went to Los Terrenas and we uh, took a taxi, 20 bucks one way, 20 bucks back. So 40 bucks US in total, but the guy will stay and wait for you for an hour and a half like he did for us. So it's not cheap, but we were desperate to get a few t-shirts and stuff. And you could buy a t-shirt in Los Terrenas for like three, four dollars US. Here it's gonna cost you 25 US. So just a heads up to that one. Okay, they've got these like uh, wooden cabanas. You'll see people make, the kids make out in, in them at nighttime. I've seen a couple of interesting things going on in them, but they're just a meeting place where you can sit and get out of the sun. And uh, yeah, they're on both sides, beautiful flowers everywhere. The grounds in this place are immaculate. There's some rooms there. Uh, they're all three floors. Somebody said there was an elevator, but I've been here two years in a row and I've never seen it. So uh, basically you're walking upstairs. And I think what they do, if you come here for the first time, you're on the ground floor. Uh, this year we're on the third floor, almost the same room. And very clean, no issues whatsoever. No bugs, no nothing like that. So ladies, you don't have to worry. And this is your pool area. What you see is what you get, it's beautiful. The pool's actually cooler than the ocean this week and was the same last year for us. So, yeah. Uh, one thing that the Wyndham has, they have this, you'll see on the roof there, the Club Viva. 
It's kind of like a timeshare thing. I talked to them about it last year. They try to separate you from 20 or 30 grand US, and then you can travel to any of the Viva Wyndham Club resorts. Um, me, I like to go where the wind blows, a different place all the time, so it was no interest to me. But uh, something you might want to look into. There's more rooms on the other side, and they've got these little coconut cabana things, lots of chairs around. So this is a Mediterranean restaurant at night and it's the lunch place uh, during the day. There's a theater for shows that they have, uh, you know, different times during the week. And then this is another uh, restaurant at nighttime. They make the tables up with nice china and stuff and you can sit and have kind of a sunset dinner if you want. And the food quality is not too bad. I'm not a gourmet or a judge of gourmet food, so come and try it yourself. But I've never gotten sick and never gone home hungry. So now coming up to the main cafeteria lunchtime, I'll see if I can sneak in here and give you a quick look at the what's on the menu. Probably not supposed to be going in the back way, but that's OK. So this is the main cafeteria. They've got an espresso bar up here, so if you want a cappuccino in the morning, you can grab it right there, or they'll bring it to you. This is your dessert menu, or dessert bar. That's where you get your omelets in the morning. They've got different types of pasta. Salad bars over here. Oh, this is a fruit bar, and then they got cheese and cold meats on the other side. <clears throat> Another. They usually have two dozen different dishes every day. They've got a decent salad bar, and the food's pretty good. I've never gotten sick. Your basic salad bar and bruschetta and tuna, yada yada. And then over here, seafood, or they'll have fish, chicken, turkey, you name it. It, it changes every day. Pretty straightforward fare, but the, the place is clean, the food and quality is really good. Straightforward at the ocean. See where the guy's sitting there? They have a Hobie cat. They've got surfboard, kayaks, all that stuff is included in your stay. And I'm not staying in the premium side of the hotel. So um, yeah, so let's go take a look at the beach. OK, so this is the, the beach at the Viva Wyndham in Samana. And you can walk all the way down about halfway between here and where that home is on the point there. Uh, because there, right straight ahead, there's a break wall there. And apparently the people that own that home on the point, they own the property up to the right side of that break wall. But there's so there's lots of walking you can do. And that's just to the right. To the left, you can walk all the way down this way and you can go down and around the point. There's a little cantina down there. And in the afternoon when the wind comes up, there'll be boogie boarders and surf, uh, surf skis and all that kind of stuff. It's actually kind of cool. You go down and have a beer and watch them do their kite thing out there on the ocean and the ocean here is absolutely awesome the water is warmer than the pool but it's still refreshing and you can go for a swim uh, but the beach if you've been to Punta Cana where you've got the you know sugary white sand then you can see the angle that the beach is on it's not as easy to walk on until you get down to the point They've completely redone, they've refilled in all the devastation from the hurricane two years ago. Once you get to the point, the beach flattens out, you can, all, you can walk uh, quite a ways down there. And once you get past that point, there's very little. I'll show you some drone footage.
there this morning. And yeah, some more cabanas, some places to sit, big speaker out there pumping out the music. And looks like there's some folks uh, playing the bocce ball. But look at the grounds, I mean, they're absolutely gorgeous. And I've been to Hawaii, I thought this was the closest thing to Hawaii that I've seen in quite a while. Like, look at this. What's not to like? I think most people are out for lunch now if you're wondering why there's nobody in the pool, but uh, yeah. Showers over here, you wash the sand off your feet. Hopefully the stabilization on this thing is working okay. Um, so I thought I'd just, I think this is probably one of the most beautiful parts of the hotel. I put my drone up here twice now. I sat on that rock there last night about four o'clock and put the drone up because the wind comes up through the day. Sometimes you can have gale force. But uh, so the footage in this video is all shot from yesterday and then this morning. But that's basically the main buffet up there, the main uh, lobby, house, whatever you want to call it. And then these are the two sets of rooms here. And then if I pan across, just on the other side there. That's where the other row of rooms is. But it's absolutely gorgeous. There's the groundskeeper. I mean, they're out here every day. So that wood building there, it's got something to do with the Viva Club. It looks like they got a barbecue there. They offer, definitely offer some nicer amenities, but you pay for it. And I don't really, uh, I'm not really informed about it, so I'm not gonna talk too much about it. So if you want, just call the hotel and check it out uh, on your own. But uh, I had a couple of people raving about it last year, but when they, um, when they tried to sell it to my wife and I, uh, I don't know, it just seemed like a whole ton of money to go to the same kind of style place time after time. But uh, there is a direct shot of your beachfront rooms. And like I say, the place is manicured to perfection. My room, or our room, is straight ahead, third floor, and you got a nice view of the ocean. And uh, that's not garbage laying around there. That's from the guy cutting the coconut trees. He was trimming the branches off this morning. Uh, just they'll pick it up later today. But absolutely beautiful uh, hotel. I have no idea what these flowers are, but I wish I had them at home. Holy cow. <laughs> Absolutely beautiful. So this is a view from the second floor. Stairwell, actually. And this is your typical day in the DR. Another rough day at the office. Okay, so I talked briefly about the store in the lobby. And I didn't want to say anything in front of the, the people that are working there, but the store is very expensive, okay? So even if you need a pair of flip-flops, you're going to pay 25 bucks US. It's goofy. You can take a quick taxi to Los Trenes for 40 bucks return, and they'll wait for you for an hour. So if you can get six or eight people together, it's a really cheap fare. If you just want to go down and see how the locals live, keep in mind the DR is uh, mountains everywhere. All the roads are two-lane. They do have good buses coming to and from the hotels, but they also have some smaller ones that are, you know, a little iffy. Now about the cigars down here. I like to smoke cigar once in a while. Um, don't come here and buy cigars because the locals make their own and it could be dog shit, it could be banana leaves, God knows what's in it. You'll come to this hotel, the kid in the humidor will offer you a free one. And as soon as I lit it up, I knew it was like brutal, okay? The humidity here is 80%, it's super high. So what you'll find is even the good cigars may be a little bit too damp and they'll go out. 
best to buy your cigars from a reputable brick and mortar at home or online or wherever you get them from and dry them out a little bit and bring them down here okay now yesterday my wife and i took a tour to the national park which i highly recommend um, it's like Howloon Bay where the James Bond Goldfinger movie Man with the Golden Gun was filmed. So there's only two or three places in the world that have those kind of limestone formations and caves. So the tour that we took was half a day. You take a 40 minute boat ride to the National Park, uh, another 30 minute ride. So you end up at the, the uh, first set of caves, then they do another 30 minutes around the islands and take you to another cave and take some pictures. And then you've got about a 40 minute ride back to Bacardi Island, which is K11 Tado. And so we did some research on Lemon Tado before coming down here, and it's over twice the price of staying at this hotel. If I had have paid that and went there, based on what I saw yesterday, I would have been really disappointed because you get off the boat with like six, eight other tour boats and the whole one side of the island. It's a beautiful beach, but if I, I you know, in my mind, if I'm paying that kind of money, I want an exclusive beach. And so the hotel does have a beach at the other side of the island, uh, which is uh, a little bit more secluded for hotel guests only. And I actually tried to go back to the boat a little bit early and I got stopped on the pathway by a security guard with a gun. And he said, no, no, you've got to wait till the designated time. So there you go. That's the variety store cigar information, K11 Tato. Yes, it's beautiful. I put my drone up. I'll show you some footage here. But um, yeah, it's really up to you. I mean, if you've got some extra money and you're looking for a trip of a lifetime, but just keep in mind that you're flying, you're going to travel from the airport at least 20 minutes. You've got to take a boat ride over to Levantado. Once you're on the island, you're stuck. You can't go anywhere. So if you just want a week to chill out in the sun, so be it. You know, I'll leave it up to you. But um, so there you go. So let's wrap this up. That's my first uh, review of the Viva Wyndham in Samana, Dominican Republic. Look at the view behind you. That's what's in behind the hotel up on the hills there. It's absolutely gorgeous down here. Um, food's clean, rooms are clean. I, I haven't got sick. I haven't heard complaints from anyone. Um, they have three a la carte restaurants, which are included with your stay, um, but it's like Dominican gourmet dining. Um, I'd say it's kind of hit and miss. The food is not bad, but uh, yeah, I mean, just come down, try them for yourself. My wife and I went to the Fusion, which is the best of the three, uh, last night. And we have another reservation tonight, but we're not going to bother going because, I don't know, I just wasn't all that fussed about it. So, um, But they've got a good menu at the buffet. And, uh, yeah, so hopefully I've given you enough information. You can always connect in if you want, if you have another question comes up. In case I didn't mention it, this is adults only. There's no kids at this hotel whatsoever which is nice uh, you know I'm actually going to Punta Cana at the beginning of April with my grandkids so uh, this is kind of the meditation uh, trip until then but uh, thanks again for watching don't forget to hit the subscribe like and smash that notification bell I really appreciate it and connect in if you got a question catch you later man